Well, uh, uh, something shooting me, but I can't see it. It's probably behind that large wall of smoke. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm smart, really. I may not see it, but it's definitely the case. Boom. And Kabui. Ah! You're just appearing out of nowhere now. Which I may have once pointed out is rude. One, two, three, four, five, six. So many boom booms! That last one wasn't needed, but it was totally required for my sanity. For you know, you recover sanity by finishing puzzles after all. Even in this game, there's totally a sanity effect in this game. You will now see the screen going wobbly. If I can be bothered to edit it, probably not. I kind of wish that the one level where they give you a sniper rifle wasn't like... In a secret area and you immediately lose it to the level afterwards. But there you go. But yeah, I kind of want to have a sniper rifle again. Or like at least a devastator. That was kind of nice to have. That worked quite well. What do we have over there? It's a devastator. No, it's a, mich it's a minigun. But that's good too. Minigun works. The more ammo I have for this thing, the better. Hmm. But I do say there are a lot of scary things running muck like you. Oh my. We have finally reached the serious time portion of the game. It took a while. It, it, I'm gonna say it didn't really feel like a serious time game until like when we got the minigun basically. Which uh, people in the comments seem to agree with, to be perfectly honest. But now it definitely feels like a serious time game. Just large areas, lots of things. And you just kind of have to try to survive and murder. Though the levels are a lot larger. They are a lot larger than the original serious time games. Which is good. I mean, it is a lot more expensive as well. So there you go. You are paying... A little bit extra for a little bit of extra content as well. But it does mean you're kind of running around in long open areas for a long period of time. And I'm feeling a little bit lazy today, so I'm probably not going to try to look at every single nook and cranny of this gigantic area here. Even if it does look really pretty. This actually kind of looks like the level in survival mode, which is um, not really a good thing. In one way, because I always die in survival mode, which is uh, kind of depressing. You know. Uh, well, at least you're only in that side. Do, 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 do. I heard an explosion. Boom! That probably would have given me the achievement if I didn't have it yet. I think you need to kill like five enemies in one explosion or something like that. Uh, one kamikaze explosion, if I remember correctly. I don't really remember entirely. I don't really check out the achievements all that often in this game. I just kind of play the game and I'll see what I get. This is good. It was partially the reason why I didn't... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Why I think it. Why I use the uh, handgun thing on the bull. Speaking of handguns and uh, completely changing the subject. Someone requested a different color mode. And I'm randomly interested in them. And some, he says something about being vivid being really good looking. So I'm just going to make a quick save here. And go to the options because it's not like we're fighting a battle or something. Probably in game options. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe it isn't graphics options after all. Color options. Okay. Standard. Let's, uh, let's put it on vivid because apparently that looks really good. Oh wow. This actually does look really good. Ah, I kind of wish I did this earlier. It, at least it definitely looks a lot more serious Samish, in my opinion. It, it looks a lot more colorful, really. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more later. I'm going to see what the other color modes are like. But first, uh, let's see. There's cold, which I guess is... Uh... Oh, lordy. Okay, that's just horrible. Let's see, what else do we have? Graphics options, colder options, this is professional grayscale, which is probably even worse than cold. Yeah, this is uh, just cold. It would be kind of awesome if there was like an option where you had the um, that grayscale, but you could still see red blood and stuff like they did in uh, 
Sin City. I like that film. I like the style, though I didn't like it in Mad Mad World. <laughs> that was the game I was thinking of. That in that game it wasn't very good. <laughs> oh my god, that's really bright. I guess they weren't lying when they said bright. Uh, apocalyptic. That looks kind of sounds kind of bad. This is just cold again. <laughs> this is exactly the same as cold. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna. Okay, this is probably really, really grayscale then. Problem with this, it makes it really, really hard to see just about anything. So I think I'm gonna switch to vivid for a while because I quite like vivid personally. And if other people don't, well, I'm the one playing. Woohoo! So let's see what. Uh, I guess I could probably fiddle with the actual sliders and stuff, but eh. But yeah, I quite like these colors. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I could make everyone green, probably and play with like green blood and make everything really weird. Hi. Nope. I can't let you do that, Mr. Man. Should probably use this gun for a while because there's an evil guy shooting rockets in the background and it's most disconcerting. And yeah, Serious Sam has been Serious Sam mode has been activated pretty much. The colors are nice. <laughs> the enemies are plenty, and I'm not getting hit ever, which is kind of good because we're in a large open area, and uh, that guy just killed his friend, which is, seems, to, seems to be a recurring theme in this uh, playthrough for some reason. I don't really know why. What I do know. Is that I'm probably going to take a little break soon, because it is actually getting kind of late. I kind of want to finish this level on the one hand, but it is getting quite late right now. So, I'm going to look at the statistics, because everyone loves numbers. Okay, we are actually getting pretty close to the end, so I think I might just finish this level. And I'm basing this entirely on how much enemies are left, when I'm guessing that's a fair estimate, to be perfectly honest. I'm guessing there's just going to be one more big... Uh, arena type place and after that it's just basically the end of the level i don't think that's the case because otherwise this recording is probably gonna get interrupted by someone <laughs> that is my guess come on are you seriously running to the right slightly is that really your amazing strategy which somehow actually works and now i saw that green weapon over there i want to pick it up oh devastator good i like that Kinda wish I had my cannon now, but I don't. I'm just gonna use this thing. Because there's a whole bunch of weapons be or ammo behind me. This thing looks so cool with vivid colors. Or at least it looks really pretty. It looks really colorful. Which I guess is makes sense because this colors are set on vivid, but yeah, I just I don't know. I just really prefer this look rather than the really grey, grey, grey look. I'm kinda sad I didn't try this out before, because I probably would have done the entire playthrough with this setting, to be perfectly honest. Probably would have shown up the other settings, but this is just a lot more pleasant to me. And it makes everything a lot easier to see as well, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, top notch to you color gurus for making this a playable style in the game. You are amazing, and I love you. And now I'm gonna kill all of your creations, and I hope you don't mind. Because otherwise, I would be kind of sad that I killed all of your friends and you swooshed in front of my screen, which is rude. But I don't mind. And it sounds like there's another red guy. Oops, there's a clear skeleton, but there's another red guy coming our way. But before I'm going to deal with him, I'm going to drop ammo. One, two, three. That's all going to miss. Every single one of those rockets not going to hit at all. Hmm. This could be kind of tricky. I'm just going to shoot in that general direction for a while. Oh, no. This really is starting to turn into survival mode. It's throwing the exact same enemies at me right now. Which is rude, mean, inconsiderate, wrong. Really quite bad, actually. And I'm going to use this gun for a while. Goldie, uh, that's a lot of things you're throwing at me, Mr. Game. And that was what I was afraid of. I'm gonna hope I can make it to this little area over here without dying. I did. Save. And we got ourselves a safe spot. Did I see this coming from behind me? Yes, I did. Okay, three health. Quick save. That's a good plan. Got a good idea written all over it. Like, seriously, dog. 
Where are these footsteps coming from? Well, all around me, I suppose, but still, I can't see anyone. Which I'm gonna say is a bit of a bad thing. Though it does appear that they can't actually get here. Which is somewhat of a different. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. You have so much health! Oh god! Now oh, that's what I call a sticky situation. Uh, oh, hit me! That would be bad! Ugh. I'm terrified right now! If he shoots an actual missile through that thing, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Uh, just keep hitting yourself, he actually killed himself. Good job, good job, man. You're good at this, honestly. <sighs> yeah. Oh god, there's guy there, right there. Like, here. Yeah, that, that would be him. Oh no, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> That's a little bit too much health loss there. Wow, he actually took me all the way to 7 health there. That was uh, kind of a low amount, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna shoot this until I get point. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you, Sam. That was necessary. That actually made me feel good, that one-liner. And it points out that there's a lot of dust in this game. So, two hits in the flies and one. Or something. <laughs> that was totally English. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, I'm gonna look at the statistics. That has to, yeah, that's pretty much just the end of the level. Good, good, because... Oh, no. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't see her. Oh my god, this is a mean, mean place to put her. One small downside of vivid color I just found. Can't see crap when looking at the sun. <laughs> Which I guess makes sense because it's the sun and all, but still, it makes it a bit of a bother when trying to survive. Come on. Don't hit me. Thank you. And I am terrified right now, and everything's hitting me, and fatness surrounding my soul. Oh no. 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 No, 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 no. Ooh. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Uh, I'm doing just fine, thanks for asking. One, two, three, four. Oh no, no, you don't see me! Ugh. As long as I just remove her vision to me, then I seem to be okay. Two, three, four, five. A lot of rockets. Lot, 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 lot. Dust. You've already used that one. <laughs> but, you know, it still applies. Second rocket was overkill, but I have infinite rockets anyway. We're getting there. We are getting there. We will survive. I choose not to die. Uh, uh, just one more shot of evil and sadness gone. Yeah. Oh no, no. Be dead, be dead, be dead, please. Yes. Is it finally over? No. <laughs> there has to be that one guy who's like, nope, I'm still here. Do do do. Okay, that has to be it, right? I mean, I've killed pretty much the entire planet at this point. <laughs> oh my god. That was an intense battle, and I am very low on health. This makes me sad, but there appears to be a health power-up over there. It looks to be one of those 50 health ones. That makes me less sad. Whew, my god, that was serious. Sam to the max. I think this level is basically a description of what Serious Sam is. Just stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. And then there's that thing. Who is just mean, rude, 
wrong and annoying me beyond all reason. I'm just going to reload casually. Don't mind me. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten bullets from the Another Devastator. Bites the dust. Damp, damp. Ooh. He really likes his dust one-liners with these guys for some reason. Don't know what that's all about, but, you know. I totally called it. I totally called it. I totally called that there would be harpies, but at least not an awful lot of them. And as such, this is pretty manageable, really. There's nothing really... Unless there's one of those guys that's going to stun me again. This shouldn't be too bad. And as long as nothing spawns behind me, which it sort of is, but not really. It's spawning close to me, but that doesn't really count as behind me. But they are being bothersome. But it would appear that they are the last enemies in the statistics screen, which I'm probably going to show one more time after this group. I mean, I probably could have just run forward, run past all of this, and I probably would have made it to the end of the level, but, you know. Sometimes a man's got a murder. And this is one of those times where a man has no choice but to shoot the crap out of some birds. I'm gonna look at the... Th Wait a second, I saw someone. Do, 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 do. You are really far away, but I can still hit you because my gun is magical. <gasps> and it has infinite range. Which is good. Realism plays no part in this game. I mean, you have to reload a little bit more than in the original series time games. But other than that, there is not really a large amount of realism. Now is there? And I don't mind that one bit. And as long as they don't stay close, they don't get close to me, I don't have to censor anything. And if I don't have to censor anything, I don't have to edit the video really an awful lot. And that makes me very, very happy because it means I get to be lazy. And that was the end of the level. Missed. Half of the secrets, more than half, even. Then got interrupted. Just after finishing the level. Ooh. So let's just watch the cutscene at the end of the level. Or the start of the new level, even. Which is the last man on Earth. And then we can take a little break. Because that is the second to last level, and I am kind of done with the game for now. So let's see. There is no cutscene. <laughs> okay, that makes this a little bit easier. The door is locked, and I am done for now. So I hope you enjoyed it so far, and I will see you next time because my throat hurts. <laughs> so see you next time. Bye-bye.